Shalom, first and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, and double honor to my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the Israelites, which are scattered all around the world amongst these different countries, which we refer to as Israelite foreigners. Okay, my name is Kassad. It's going to be a quick news update. All right. And um, this, this is an article from RT.com. And it is entitled, European Leaders Stunned by Biden's Accelerated Aging. WAPO. Multiple leaders have concluded that Joe Biden can't win in November, sources told the newspaper. Yeah, because uh, last week, Donald Trump and Joe Biden, they had a, a, a debate. And Donald Trump basically slaughtered. Joe Biden in that debate, man, he made him look, he made him look bad every time he, he, uh, he, he spoke, <laughs> you know, which Joe Biden, he's getting up there in age, but he's losing his wits. They both up there in age, but Joe Biden is showing signs of fucking going senile, man. And the world is looking at that. The world see that, man. All right. The world see that. And their allies are ashamed. Okay. Their allies are ashamed, man. Like this is the this is the, the superpower of the world that's that's trying to enforce their policies all around the world, trying to police the entire world and tell everybody what to do and, and how to do it, how to live. This is this is their leader. Alright. And it says U.S. Joe, U.S. President Joe Biden has been displaying worry signs of accelerated aging in recent months, and these changes shocked European leaders who met him at the Group of Seven G7 summit in Italy last month. The Washington Post reported on Friday. The outed cited 21 people who spoke on condition of anonymity. Long-standing concerns over Joe Biden's health came into focus following what was widely perceived as disastrous performance in his first debate with Republican rival Donald Trump last week. While the Biden camp claimed the president had caught a cold, his performance reportedly panicked Democratic officials and donors, with some even suggesting he needed to be replaced as the party's candidate for the November election. Right. Because once again, this man is going to see now, man. All right. There's been too many videos of this man falling over, tripping over shit, falling asleep during interviews. All right. Uh, not staying on topic with the with the with the topic. All right. Zoning out. OK. And this is just a shadow of what, you know, basically the state of America, man. OK. Because America, America's about to be replaced, man. All right? America is waxing old, man. America's on, on its deathbed. Okay? On a decline. All right? So that's why I decided to go into that article. Now, let me get a few scriptures, right? This is Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? It says the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Yeah, so the heathen rage, man. They imagine a vain thing. All right? They know uh, most of these... 
uh, heathen nations, they know who the children of Israel are. They know that the real Jews are you so-called Negroes. And the, the true Israelites are you so-called Latinos, Native Americans, and, 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 and Negroes, man. Okay, you are the true biblical Israelites. You, you make up the 12 tribes of Israel, man. All right? You're being called by words. And, I, and most of these nations know that. But they imagine that vain thing because they see that the so-called white man is, you know, the scriptures call him Lucifer. All right. The, 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 you know, the scriptures basically tell you that he's in heaven right now. All right. So these these nations look up to him as, as the beacon of light. OK, they look at him for. For the answers to to all 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 of their adversities and all of their all of their problems, man. But now that they see this man going down, they think that they can get up in there and, and take over the world, man. You know, be the be the, be the ruler of, uh, you know, the the, the 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 known world, so to speak. Okay. So yeah, they imagine that vain thing, but they don't understand that, like the scriptures say in Second Ezra six and seven, that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it. That follow it, man, because they're heathens. All right, you know China, they 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 uh they getting hyped up thinking that they got next. Russia thinking that they got next. Okay, so forth and so on. None of these nations got next, man, as far as rulership of the planet Earth. All right, dominance in the planet Earth, man. All right, to be that next great empire. The next great empire is the kingdom of heaven. And that's pursuant to Daniel, the second chapter. All right, uh, Daniel 7. All right. As I quoted, 2 Nezra 6 and 7. All right. And so forth and so on. Okay. So I got one more scripture. I'll wrap this up. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 11 because you were glad because ye rejoiced oh ye destroyers of mine heritage because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass and bellow as bulls yeah the destroyers of the most high's heritage of these other nations man the most high's heritage is his people first and foremost all right his land all right and our customs all right, and our and 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 our uh, our knowledge and our wisdom, which is what the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible. Okay. They destroyed the Most High heritage. Not only did they destroy it, they they tried to, they 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 blasphemed it, man. Okay, they despised it. All right. Talking about these Edomites, these so-called white people. That puts you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans in the hardcore slavery. All right. And these other nations, the so-called Chinaman, the so-called Japanese, so-called Africans, so-called Arabs. All right. The so-called East Indians. All these nations going back to Psalms, the 83rd chapter. They had a hand in the downfall of you so-called Negroes. All right. That's why you don't have a that's why you don't have a seat in the in the in the, in the, in the um, United Nations. OK. That's why they don't acknowledge you as as a um as a, a as an authoritative people, okay. And that's why you don't own nothing, you don't rule anything, you don't have control over nothing. All right, verse twelve it says, "Your mother shall be sore confounded; she that bear you shall be ashamed." Yeah, it's Great Britain. All right, and I brought this out because you know Great Britain. You know, that's the mother of uh, America because America came out of Great Britain. When you do your research and you look back into the history of the establishment of America. All right. America came out of Great Britain. All right. The Englishmen. All right. The colonizers from Great Britain that came over here and, you know, uh, took their stake in all these different states here in America. man, Slaughtered the Native American Indians and enslaved the so-called Negroes. All right. And the Latinos. We've got to throw that in there, too. OK. But, yeah, they can. They are. They're this. They're because they're, 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 they're so confounded. man. they're ashamed of America. All right. And just 
you know, that article shows you, man. They hi they electing uh presidents and, and leaders that are no leaders, man. You know? Which we don't get into their politics because at the end of the day, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, that's first and foremost. But not you know, not to mention that, you know, we're we're not of this world. All right. We don't we don't vote. OK, we don't vote for a, a, a king that to, of another nation to rule over us, man. All right. Because that's in the law in Deuteronomy. All right. Not to vote for a king of another nation. OK. Not not to vote for a king of another nation to rule over you. All right. The Lord said, don't do that. You know. But, um. Yeah, so it's not just Great Britain that's confounded in the shame, all right, which Great Britain ended up leaving the EU via the Brexit a couple years back. And, you know, that was just a, a precursor to these other countries dumping a dollar, all right, joining the BRICS alliance, leaving the EU, all right, possibly even leaving NATO, okay, because that's what time that we in. All right. So, um, yeah, the point was made, man. This place is a joke. This place is nothing more than a joke. It's, it's, it's on a decline. It's on its last legs. All right. It's coming to an abrupt end. So rejoice and be glad, man. Rejoice and be glad. Like the script say, oh, daughter of Edom. All right. And you two third niggas. All right. Because, you know, live it up while you can because your day is coming, man. All right. And for you brothers and sisters that that um hasten the day of the Lord, the coming of Yahweh by Shem Shai. All right. Like the scripture say, lift up your head, man. Because your redemption draweth nigh. All right. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.